So I'm with Dr. Holloway in a hospital in Texas in 2015, and we're witnessing a surgery. I've probably witnessed about 500 of these. It never gets old. You're just like, yeah. this is like magic. Yeah. And I look at Blake, I said, Blake, if we can take everybody's brain to four hertz, despite chaos and stress, doesn't matter. Can we take them to 0. 0.5 hertz and put them to sleep? Can we take them to 7.83 hertz and put them in a creative state? Can we take them to 18.4 hertz and put them in a focus zone? And then lastly, can we take them to 41 hertz and put them in high intensity peak performance? And what I loved most about Blake was he never said no. Mm. Now he had Asperger's, so I never knew when, I never knew how, I just knew yes. Hmm. It took us six years on this journey to figure all this out. Can I just say, Bonnie and I use this, and I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty skeptical because I've struggled with my sleep, uh, particularly since leaving the military, and I, I've just struggled. I just don't, I don't sleep. I wake up, I, you know, it's just, it's fitful. That was the first time. Uh, using that that I slept for like eight hours and I didn't wake up you know what I mean and it's that wasn't a one-off like it's it's consistently sleeping now for periods of time that I didn't sleep at any point in special forces that long 